is up guys um hey we are going to fix and uh seal paintings today so today this one is actually going so i'm going to say goodbye to this painting i've had it probably a good month or two um as you can see it is called the one eye painting um this one means absolutely uh Nothing to me, honestly. Um, I was just trying to uh, make a like an Illuminati piece with the eyes and stuff like that. Um, I'm always fascinated with the Illuminati and you know where where they are uh, from and what they do and why they're here and if they're here and who they're here for and. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, what I'm saying is that this is what this piece is. So I sold this piece. Um, this one's going. I can't tell you the price because um, it's just not fair to some of you that are like, you know, spend thousands of dollars on paintings. So this is pretty up there. Right. Anyways, what I want to say about this painting is um, the two heads connect. That's interesting, right? And then he forms that one eye, and then this is an eye, and then you got the Illuminati thing and the triangle, and there's a lot of hidden pieces in this painting that I did. Um, there's very symbols, like this is a pair of sunglasses with a guy's tongue sticking out with his nose. Like if you could see that, then you, you're really into the painting. Um, another triangle, another triangle. Um, and what I did for the buyer, and if the buyer ever sees this, just, I don't know if, oh well, who cares, right? What I wrote on the back, I wrote on the back one eye, which is, that's like name the painting, and I put number 33. So 33 has a, a, um, a thing that goes back to like the Freemasons, Illuminati, blah, blah, blah. So I put 33 on the back, just for, ooh, you know, like, holy cow, this is 30, number 33. Like, what does that mean? Like, you know, it's basically a joke to the idea of what it is does it does it mean i'm in the luminate no no it doesn't mean anything like that it just means that i am fascinated with it and i just put a lot of hidden stuff in this that i won't tell you because uh if i tell you i just ruin it so try to find the painting i don't know where it's going some guy's picking it up in a few minutes here still waiting for him to respond but what I just did before the show, um, I did seal it with a clear, and I'm looking at it right now, and I'm trying to see if I want to seal it again. And I think this one coat did a job. So what the clear does is a nice little gloss to it, and um, that is it for this painting. Goodbye. So as this one is still a little bit damp, we're going to um, go from yesterday's painting and uh, we're going to finish this one. This one just needs a little touching up. So bear with me. Get your paintbrushes out. If you're at this stage, you're probably not at this stage because, uh, oh, maybe you are. You know, I can't, I can't discredit that, but whatever. But um, if you really want to know, I really hope this is... This is this is rolling, right? Okay, so let me get my brushes, and let's see where everything is. Okay, so I have um, I'm gonna go with a we're gonna we're gonna brighten up that sun. So we're just gonna do a little bit of white, and and always remember when you're grabbing your paints, always try to grab it and catch it like that you know it's always adds the effect that you are uh, uh, an expert painter it's a very uh it's a thing you should do anyways here we go so we're gonna just dab a little bit of white in this sun area and we just want it right in that circle and we're just gonna keep putting it in there Here we go. Look at that. You 
Now, if you can guess where this painting or this picture is from, good for you. If you can't, I would be shocked if you don't know where this painting is from. It's actually, this, this picture is actually, if you ever watch, um, if you have, I, if you have uh, Apple TV, Apple TV will have like a screensaver and show like different, um, different, um, like a screensaver. It would show different pictures. And one of the pictures was something like this. I added the, uh, I added the, uh, um, the path, which is not there originally, but, um, but it can be there if you want to, uh, if you want to, um, add anything you want. So today I might add, I think I'm going to add a, a bird or two in the distance, just like, like big to small, probably maybe right around here. Um, I don't want to do too much because we have a lot of paintings to fix tonight. And um, so that's what we want to do. So I'm just going to put that in my bucket and um, let's get the black out and let's make some birds, right? So right now I'm going to find my black. Now remember, black is a very, um, there we go again. See how I did that flip? I always do that flip, shake up that paint and give it a nice little lick. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're just gonna put a tiny bit there. Oh, I got a little, I got it all over the bottle. So just use your shirt and just wipe it nice and clean, just like that. And you'll have a shirt just like mine. And guess what? You don't have to go to the store and buy one just like this, right? So remember, let's not uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So what would be beautiful than having birds? close to the sun, huh? No? Maybe birds, maybe big ones here and then tiny ones? Let's do, let's do, um, let's do. So we're just gonna do a long line. Long line. Basically you do a little dot and then you just do like a little Half W is here. Just not not too much. You probably might not be able to pick that up because they're so small. Um, let me just add another one here. One uh, random. There we go. So just a few little birds going in here. Not so bad, right? That's good. That's good. Okay. So I would say the painting is done. Not done, but to where we are. So now we're going to do the fixing. And the, a lot of the fixing with paintings is usually the edges because you don't want to hang a painting on a wall and then you see the white edge and then you see the paint it just doesn't look good and then let me let me show you an example of what that looks like here you go you got this painting here okay it's a crappy one whatever but look at that it doesn't look good like if i'm hanging the painting's hanging and you're like right here and you're looking up and you see this this bothers me so some painters will do one color all the way around. I have chose the uh, way to just gradually, you know, just go orange and just keep going. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to have to match all the colors, which I don't want to do. That seems like a lot of work. So I'm probably just going to put a nice little purple strip right here and cut and clear it. So. Let's uh, let's do this painting first, and then we will get into um, other paintings that I have ready to go. Let me check. Let me check to see if the buyer is here yet, or is made it. Um, I texted him. I said, "Hey, are you coming tonight or Monday?" He might be watching live, so who knows? 
So that is off and here we go. So last night we used a purple and a raw umber. So that's what we're gonna grab. I'm gonna grab my DXI purple. And you know, the thing with painting guys, they have all these stupid names of these paints. And I remember going to the store and I'm like, hey, do you have, um, what was it? It was unbleached titanium. It's like, come on. Like, how st stupid can you get with these names? Just call it unbleached and be done with it. You know what I mean? And then after, when you buy a lot of these paints, you really, they really see that flip and then give it another flip. Make sure when you're not using paint, just throw them back because they are in your way. So a little bit goes a long way for these things because we're just doing the edges. Um, and here we go. We're just going to do a quick mix. And we are going to take the edging just like that. Now, some people are like, just, it doesn't match. And you know what I say? I know. I'm screwed up too. This is not good. This is not good. I just screw this one up. But guess what? You can't screw up a painting. Did you know that? Did you know you cannot screw up a painting? So I'm just dabbing this edge. Now look at this edge here. If you can see, it's light purple, dark purple, and then a little lighter. So I just put a nice little light coat there. And uh, I'm gonna put it all the way across. It's a nice flat way to even it out, just like that. Just like that. You see, that doesn't match the clouds. I know, don't worry about it. Okay, so we're gonna just let that dry and now we're gonna do the bottom. The bottom looks more like raw umber. So that's easy. Raw umber. Uh oh. I just got the text guy. Just got the guy that messaged. The guy that's buying the Illuminati painting. Illuminati painting. Let's see what he says. Two messages. Here we go. This is this is exciting. Sometimes it does get exciting. Tomorrow, if possible, going to Van Nuys. Womp 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 womp. Okay, whatever. Uh, tomorrow, if possible. Okay. I will let you know when I'm home tomorrow. And that is it. And that's how you treat your clients. Very respectful and um, with grace, right? So here we go. We're just gonna do a little bit of mix in here with a little black and a little raw umber, you know, whatever. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna go glide, take the flat of the brush. Just see a lot of people get really like sketchy. Uh oh, what is he saying now? Let me see. Let me see what this guy says. Always be respectful for your clients. Oh, he says he's going to be passing through at 11 a.m. or so. I don't know if I'll be here. Oh, and he said, by the way, watching your great show, love your paintings. Oh, that's so nice of you, Duke. Nice, nice guy. Um, Okay, so will I get back to him? I'll get back to him later. Dude, I don't, I'm, he's probably watching, so I'm not sure if I will, I will be home around that time. So, oh no, I will be there.
So we're just painting this edge, guys. Remember what we're doing? Don't forget it. All right, so we're just... Let me show you here how we're doing it here. So we're just going like this. Hey, Josh, you're on the front. Oh, well. I got to get rid of that orange. Because when, when we painted this painting last night... Um, that's okay. We want this looking rough anyways, right? So here we go. Just going to paint along. Look at that technique with the brush. You just rub it on. Don't worry about getting it in the front here. This is all like, this is supposed to look rough. You know? So we got the two coats on. That one's almost dry. So we're gonna hang it sideways so we can uh, work on the side. Okay, so that looks like a more of a light purple that I did last night, I remember. So I'll remember. Whoa! Always flip your paint, because if you don't flip your paint, you ain't a painter. Exactly. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to try to find a rag here. Now, you, 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 can't, you can't buy these rags anywhere, right? Great rags to have, and they're, they don't come colored. You gotta color them in yourself, right? That's always a good painting joke. We all, we all uh, have that in common here. So we just really try to dry it up, give it a little shake, and throw the rag. Okay, so now we're just gonna grab a little bit of light purple, and we're just gonna go down, down the top here. Now, now it doesn't look like it matches. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of raw umber. And there is our collar. So we're just gonna go down. And now it just matches beautifully. Yep, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys, look at that. Look at that. I could, I could just tell you anything and you will believe me. Right? Look at that matchy matchy, right? So we're just gonna just gonna do that. That's it. Now I see these lines. I haven't decided if I wanted to um I haven't decided if I really wanted to uh, keep the way it is, you know, is a decision that you like, you're at this point in, in the p painting process of like, <sighs> do I like these lines that go across? I don't know. Only the buyer would know if they like them. You got your little birds, you got a little swirl on the path, and, and the tree goes up. I don't want the tree so see-through, so I'm just going to um, wipe off a brush here. And I'm going to grab some of my raw umber, some black, and I'm just going to just gonna go over it a little bit here. I don't want my tree, I don't want the, the, the sky to come through. So now, I've already pre-barked this tree yesterday. Pre-barking is uh, just another painting turn that you'll one day understand. Um, we're just going over the lines. Just like so. Just gonna go over, make sure everything is. All 
Basically, I'm just filling in what is see-through or shouldn't be see-through. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Jellabo. So, okay, still going strong here. It's really hot here. Okay, just keep going in these, redo these tree limbs. Probably should have done the front of the painting first and then do the uh, edges, you know, because I'm balancing on this top part here and it could fall and it could ruin the painting. And you would have to start over or whatever, see if you could fix it for canvas or... But when you are a professional, you should have the balancing skills to pull this off. Whoa. So I'm just redoing the branches, guys. Nothing to stress out about, so that's what you should be doing. Now, if you're just tuning in, um, this is what we're doing. We're just fixing, fixing and sealing paintings. I have a lot of paintings. I got like six paintings here. I don't know if I'll get through them all tonight. And six is not even close to half of what I have to, to do. I literally, I usually, when I sell a, when I sell a painting, I usually, that's when I touch it up for uh, any client, you know. And that's it. Let's keep going. There we go. You know, if painting is your passion in life, it is not that expensive to get started. It's not. It's very uh, inexpensive. So I'm going to let that sit, okay? I'm going to let that sit. Because I think that's done. Well, we will clear coat this in a bit let's see if this painting is dry enough to go on the floor and it is okay so this one will dry put this on the drying rack um you don't have to have two easels like me but see this shine this is done this has been pre-glossed see that you can see the it's a bigger painting um this is my uh a painting of a wow there's some crap all over it wow. oh that must have that's not good 
That is probably not a good reason to have. But I did that on purpose. That's right. Now, I was just looking at these, there was like little dots on here, and I was like, did I do that on purpose? And I think I did, yeah. I put little dots on here because faces are imperfect. You know, they're not, they're not perfect. Like, you, you might have a freckle there. I'll put a freckle there. There's a couple freckles everywhere. Uh, freckle in your hair. So this was a, a painting of a lady that I saw praying. I think uh, she was, uh, she was uh, had her knees up to her face. So, um, her knees, face, and she was very sad. Very sad. Um, I mean, a lot sadder than what this guy went through, right? So let's, uh, we, we could finish this one. This is, looks like a little light raw umber. We got a lot of edging to do here. A lot of browns. I don't want to do this one. That's my Walking Dead one. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually, I want to do this one. Okay, here we go. So, what we're going to do is the edging, because we need to do the edging. So, we're just going to do a light. I say we do a light purple. That's it. You don't want to get too involved with these edgings because it's just going to consume your life forever. So just take that light purple and just cover it. I think it's better to cover it than not cover it for sure. Um, some people might disagree on me with that, but, uh, I, when you, uh, become a professional, you will understand. I'm just painting the edge here. And I don't want to get on a dress, so dry your thumb and wipe it on your shirt, just like that. So let me show you what I'm painting. So here we go. Let me, uh, can you see that? Here we go. Gonna keep going all the way down. All the way down. I mean, you shouldn't be doing this, but you should be doing is when you first painted it, you should have went all the way past. I don't know why I didn't. This must have been one of my newer paintings or one of my uh, ones that I first started. Some of these paintings are tutorial paintings like that you can see on YouTube and people uh, show you how to paint. So I think this is I think this is one of them. I'm sure it is because I don't I could care less about umbrellas and stuff but it is make a good painting right? Anytime I do uh, tutorial paintings, I don't sell them at full price. I don't. You always give homage to the teacher that taught you the painting. If it's a tutorial painting. And that is it.
So you can really never tell, like... Was that there before? I don't know. That could have been the original way that the artist did it. You know, it's like... You can't... When someone, like, looks at painting, they're like, Oh, he must have... He must have been angry when he was painting. Or he must have made that mark on purpose because because he was just, he was whatever. Because I don't know. Because he, because someone will make up some bull crap about why there's a scratch on the on the painting or or a, a different color on the person's face or whatever. Cause I understand that now. Like I got freckles on that one face now and I know what that is from it's from painting next to the painting and i might have got a little uh, a little excited and uh got a little bit on the face there and that's what that's there for and then when someone sees it they're gonna be like oh i love the freckles they're gonna love the imperfections guys which is fine you honestly can't mess up a painting can't so I'm just gonna hang that like so or oh, just put it like that okay so that one's ready to be clear coated let's see this one it looks like it's still drying that one I gotta I gotta put somewhere else it's not a good place to have nearby. So I hope everyone's having a good time. Looks like we uh, are having uh, a lot of people viewing right now. Um, we have Facebook going live right now. We also have YouTube and our normal channel, the uh, the art artists of the world, top 100 artists on the uh, global scale, which brings in probably a million viewers all the time. So in my creative process, um, I do a little um, little MJ, we call it, and it helps you create the mind of, um, gives you a more uh, in-depth look of art. So I, I have a vape pen here and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna just take a couple puffs and see if, uh, see if it's gonna make my imagination uh, grow as we paint. So here we go. Oh, and don't do this in, at home, guys, unless you you are uh, sick. Great, good. One puff is good enough for Mr. Dragon, right? Okay, so whoa, no, just kidding. Here we go. We are going to um, we're going to double hang this. Oh, oh, that's okay. Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, so that's not a good place for it. So we'll just hang it here. There we go. Okay, so we got that one drying. This is the one I wanted to work on, actually. <clears throat> This one is my baby. This one took me over several months to complete. Oh yeah, several months. Uh huh. And you guys are like, holy cow, several months. Yeah, I gotta tell that story, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go and get my clear so I don't keep it out there. I got my, my bowl. With your clear, you always want to get your uh, a bowl, something that you can uh, pour your clear in. Because any clear coat is a uh, good clear coat, right? So we're just going to toss those away. And we're going to put the bowl right here, and we are going to get ready to clear it. Any uh, questions? Okay, we have a question at the uh, artist channel. 
What clear am I using? Oh, sorry. I am using Liquid Liquid Text Professional. It's cheap. I mean, it's $35 for this bottle. I don't know if that's cheap for some people, but it's it's uh it could be cheap. I don't know. To you. So, I'm just going to take a nice dry brush. And this is just you're just going to Oh my god, this is not good. There's purple in this. That is not good. Not good. So I'm just going to hurry up, scratch it. Ah. Oof. Oh my god. Not sure why I did that. That is that could ruin a painting. Something like that. Am I kidding? He can't ruin a painting. Imperfections are the best things of a painting. Everyone loves imperfections. Um, so I'm not going to use. happens and that's why we're here we're learning together and uh, that is what, what we do so let's just waste some more clear now remember if that really ruined my painting let's just say let's just say it ruined it okay I say that purple really got through what would we do anybody anybody can go Facebook YouTube or the uh, top 100 artists of the world top 100 okay what do you do easy you let it dry that's it you let it dry you paint this gold again and then you let that dry and then you start all over easy guys can't mess up a painting a painting okay oh wow i think it's coming off like that because of the gold that's what it is so it's nothing to worry about. It's actually supposed to do that. I had no idea. I never, I never clear coated a, a gold painting before. This is probably the most expensive painting I've ever done because of the gold. This is actually 24 uh, K gold paint flakes and 24 karat gold, uh, 24 carat in the air. This is all basically what I'm doing, just getting a nice rough coat on this because I got a lot of in, be in betweens and stuff and This one is getting, I'm actually prepping this one for, uh, um, for sale. This, actually, I think I'm about, I'm thinking about getting rid of this one. I know I don't want to, but when you have 75 paintings in the house, it's time to get rid of some because your wife will get mad if you don't get rid of them. And that's what happens when you get married. Your, your wife tells you if you're you can have your paintings all around I'm just kidding no one does just what to do so I'm taking a little brush because there's so many that's not working okay I need a soft brush and all my soft brushes are wet maybe this one will do it might take longer. Oh my 
my god, this is a nightmare. This one was not a good idea, that's for sure. But it will be worth it in the end. So remember guys, when you're painting, don't get frustrated. Because if you get frustrated, you're going to lose all your paintings very, very easily. And what I mean by losing is you'll get frustrated, you might, I don't know, break it, who knows. Some people have anger issues. You know? Remember, if this doesn't dry right, I'm not going to be like, oh no, it's, this is a horrible painting, right? No, I'll just repaint it gold and don't clear it again. And that would be it. Because it's supposed to go on clear. That is so foggy. Make sure you do your edges. going to keep going until all this white is out. I mean, this is just, you know, we all, and the reason why I did this tonight was like, I knew this was going to happen. And I want you guys to run into situations where, you know, if you mess up, you know what to do. And you don't be like, oh my God, I just spent three months on a painting or whatever, how long it ever took you. Most of my paintings take it, you know, an hour or two, whatever. But um, that you can always fix a painting into your liking. But remember, someone else might like your imperfections. They might think the painting's absolutely perfect if you had drips of this this clear everywhere. I don't know. Or they would actually they would have thought this painting was perfect without the birds. Who knows? Like, I don't like these white lines in the sky. Someone might think that's amazing. And that's why when you're done with the painting and you feel like you've done what you can, it's done. Don't keep poking at it because if you keep poking at it, you might really regret it. So we're just going to keep painting this clear. A lot of people thought this painting was done, but it's not. I've been dying to get this clear on for a while now. Now this clear can actually ruin a painting by drying up foggy. And then you gotta start over for sure. So we have any other more questions for a uh, finish this one? No? Okay. I got an earpiece that tells me if there's any questions. Like I want this painting to be like in a church, framed. That's why I want this painting to go is into a church. Um, that's like it's like that's the thing when I do with certain paintings. I paint for certain for certain people, and then they come find me because I painted something that I knew that they would like and that is part of selling paintings as well you know like these you could sell these all day long these these are very rare these are paintings that you would find in the church and that is my goal I want a, a church to buy this and then they'll make me I don't know if, I hope they don't make me feel guilty of giving it to them, you know?
I probably would feel horrible, but but that is the goal. Sometimes, you, like, I want to see some of my paintings in movies, just because I, you know, I, I want to. There's a movie, there was a TV show that came out on Netflix called uh, 13 Reasons. And there's a painting right next to the kid's bed, the main character's bed. And you might recognize it because I have it. And I'll show you. If you've seen the show 13 Reasons, you'll recognize this painting. This is it, right here. 13 reasons. I should mark that. But this is uh, one of the paintings that was uh, next to the main character's bed. Take a look. Show is a great show. Um, not good for younger kids. <sighs> Which I wish they would have made that show good for younger kids because it was a good eye-opening of what suicide is all about and why people think about suicide and what they're going through and bully and blah 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 and I think a lot of these kids today could really benefit from it but the uh, scenes in the show is just too um, it's too much for a 13 year old to see because I mean these kids are acting like they're 13 but in real life they're like 21 and it's just it just doesn't look right. I mean, they got tattoos. Some of these kids have tattoos on the show. It just doesn't look right. I don't know who uh, approved that. I know I wouldn't if I was the uh, if I was the set or casting or makeup. And nobody probably wants to cover up with makeup. There you go. So it's actually working out. It's just taking time. I did originally put gold flakes on this. And then I painted over it because it looked too weird. It didn't look right. But maybe someone else probably would have thought it would look right, right? So this is a time where you jack it up. I'm gonna put a nice a little bit on the bottom here. That's it. Keep going. Now you're just drying it up. Just dry it up. Just dry it up. Let's check your messages. Nothing good. I am exhausted. So, there was a reason why I did that. There was a reason why I did the, the Mary Jane today. The cannabis oil bait thing. I'm trying to experiment with cannabis at the moment. Not for, oh, it enlightens your brain, because it sure doesn't for me. And I don't know how it does for others. But, but that's more of the THC side, and I don't really do THC, except for at night. But my point is, is that make California red, that's for sure. I'm in this group called Make California Red because we need it to be. Okay, so I'm still just, boy, this is taking forever, which is fine. You don't want to rush a masterpiece in disguise. So, we 
we are still we're still picking our battles here like I see a little spray of orange in there that can't be good I gotta fix that Very hot. Okay. Edges look a little clouded, which is fine. Wow, this is... This was a bad idea with this painting. And this painting also has hidden messages. Well, it's supposed to be... Jesus was supposed to be a little more hidden. But this is the sun, the clouds, Jesus, and the cross. The symbol of Jesus. There you go. That is sealing a painting in the way I did not want it to go, but it did go there. Um, this is a big no-no. Letting paint dry. I'm gonna toss these in the water. Just get a little bit of water on these because I don't want it to dry. It really ruins it. Over, over time it ruins it. So I'll always just try to Scrub your brushes with another, use a tool that uh, that you would clean with like with a grill or something, those plastic scrubbers. And that's basically all I'm doing is just cleaning it up in my, my, my paint sink. So I wish I had a camera over here so I could show you. a little wet and dry them off okay so I really hope you uh, got a good sense of what to do on fixing and sealing paintings wow that, that was great I needed that so um, Next time we shoot, we will probably do another reseal. Let me just show you a couple more paintings that I'm going to fix later on tonight. Maybe not. Looks like I gotta hit the base. So here's a painting that I want to clear coat, but also I need to, the background is going see-through and right through her skirt here. So I might add some more red here and uh, the edgings look pretty good. So just a little bit of red here, and that is it, and then seal it. Um, this one, I did have ready to go. This one is actually sold. I gotta give it to the person. I haven't given it to her yet. Um, yeah, that's self-explanatory. I'm not gonna really go into that one. This one, uh, this is called catnip, I call it. It's actually a, a post my buddy uh, Dana would keep posting these cat things. 
these images that would move. So I took a still of the moving image, and that's what I came up with. Um, here's here's a classic. You know, this is, was a tutorial. Um, I added the Death Star in the back, but uh, that came out okay. Which I need to just seal it. Uh, this one's another tutorial, which was fun. Um, learning how to drip paint. So these are these are my old. These are like when I first did painting. See, I didn't do the edging. I'm very strict on edging. So that's another. I got to touch up. And then this one. This one's my ancient. This this tree inspired me to do this painting. Actually, um, here's these trees. So I, I kind of like this, like this kind of pattern, you know. But um, that is that looks old, whatever. But I think putting a nice clear coat on that will really seal the deal. So that is it for all my paintings tonight. And you got your Groot over here, obviously. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please, uh, if you have any painting friends, um, please share the video. My name is Jess Weber. This is Jaw Art. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Weber's Way. I, do, I put a lot of my paintings there. And um, I also am on, uh, you can buy paintings from on uh, Let Go, which is an app here in California that you could use. I'm sure it's everywhere else. Or just hit me up Facebook and uh, let me know what painting you want. These are not too expensive. So this one, like a painting like this, let's just for an example, a painting like this would go for probably like twenty-five to five thousand um, dollars. A group would go for like a hundred to two hundred. Uh, this one would go for around probably a hundred to five hundred. The uh, the couple up there probably, probably another hundred to two hundred. But just make an offer, you know. If you if you if you only think this painting is worth ten dollars, well, I might not sell it to you. Or I'll say no. As much as I want to get rid of all my paintings, I'm not in a rush to get rid of them. As much as everyone's knocking on my door to get rid of them all, right price sets them free. So, have a good night. And this is Jess Weber, and I am out. I'm thinking I'm gonna go this way. <laughs>